Hey everyone, it's uh, Scott Norris here for Visualize Me. Just continuing on to the short, quick series on the uh, custom form elements. Now, today's going to be a really easy one. Uh, drop down, it's got to be my personal favorite. Uh, it's just so versatile in how you want to use it, and it really helps when there's a, you know, a ton of different entries. And I really hate having manual hinted items on a on a form. You know, for for end user experience and for reliability you don't want to give choices you don't want to give them room to make mistakes so that's why having uh, programmatic drop downs based on you know other elements in your in your forms is is really good so let's have a quick look it won't take too much time today so look at our drop down list here and it, i usually use drop down for uh, applications domains environments a whole bunch of different stuff uh, but we can see we can give it a, a drop down here. Um, for this one, we might go, okay, why don't we choose domain, for example. So let's just go domain. Main selection. And then a placeholder is just something that it puts in there. So you can, you know, go default there. The usual visibilities. Um, we go into values. Now, you can set a default value here, and that's just what will be on the first choice there, but what I always do, and again, is these external sources. So, as we can see, we've got the value label uh, section here, so it means that we need an action which is either going to return an array of string or just property. Uh, the property, uh, as we've gone through in previous ones, uh, is set out uh, as a object, a properties object, and you set it up with a value label, and with a string, it just returns the strings. So for me, it's just a string today. So let's go to external source, and I think it's called return domain. There it is. Um, and that should be it. Let's have a quick look and load it up. And there it is, and there's our default, which I put in there. Now, obviously, it doesn't select that first, but it lets you put something in there. Uh, and now, this allows us to uh, select our domain that we want to, say, deploy our machine into, uh, as an example. Uh, nice and easy, uh, very simple. Again, it's got all the same constraints with, um, you know, is it required? You can put regular expression in there to make sure um, the right values there but again if it's a drop down I don't generally think these are worth it because you've already predetermined what those values are going to be uh, and, and same with min and max I don't generally worry about any of these match field maybe uh, depending on your, on your form um, visibility again you can um, just like we've gone over previously is that you can set conditional value uh, and you can say, you know, if uh, a checkbox is yes, then show this field as an example. Um, but yeah, no different to most of the other ones with the with the general general settings. Anyway, nice and quick. Uh, catch you next time. See you bye.